the graphics and the everything that UWW does. I was watching the the banner back behind there as we popped into the match. They do such a great job with just their, 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 the way that they do the sport. The highlight push athletes. out. Yeah, they really do. They have the different lights, the different colors, graphics all bringing attention to these athletes. No step out there. That was an intentional push. So there won't be any points for Kutuzov and Amoyan as they exchange some early pleasantries. Gold medal. Right, you have to be attacking a hold. You can't just straight arm push someone out of bounds to get a step out. It has to be under attack. Katusov in the red this past May took third at the U23 Senior European Championship. Moyen has won a Continental Gold Medal. That was in 2019. In fact, he's won a couple. Also has a World Junior title as well. Only 22 years old for the Armenian Amoyan. Here's a tough question for you, Brian, as we bring highlights to the Russian Wrestling Federation. And there's not a wrong answer because they're dominant in both. But do you think they're stronger in freestyle or Greco-Roman? I think freestyle just because I'm a freestyle purist, so that's what I know a little bit better. But just knowing the depth in the freestyle and how they have just continued to be great. But then also, we look at the, the country that are so good in Greco, we're looking at different parts of, of the Russian Wrestling Federation. We typically see the southern um, Dagestan and, and those groups doing the freestyle and the Moro Sechen and northern Russians doing the Greco. Um, you can see just the way that they look. There's two different cultures. Amoyan into a stand-up. Still trying to position the body at the right angle to get a throw, and did he get the feet to back for four? Or is it just gonna be the step out? Again, we cannot see the, the mat judge and the mat chairman, so we have to wait. And they're gonna go two on that. Two proper throw on that, no exposure, but he made a, an attempt to, to do the throw, and they're gonna reward the action in the match. So two points for Moyan for the proper throw. So if you're sitting at home wondering why we are waiting, they are not in our line of sight from our vantage point up here on the balcony. So we have to rely on the cameras to see what the judge and the match chairman signal. 3-0 Amoyan on top. 35 seconds and counting in this first period. Amoyan's really been the, the aggressor and even off the get-go, he pushed Kutuzov down to his hind quarters. Kutusov came out, he did the straight arm push out of bounds, but he has controlled the pace of the match and has controlled the center of the mat. He was hanging heavy on the two on one. Kutusov clears his left arm away. A little bit of wrist control, the left wrist for the Armenian squeezing tightly, almost a baseball type grip. And the referee will stop the action and the period ends. 3-0 Armenia with Malkis Samoyan. He is a wrestler coming into the senior level a few years ago. He had absolutely dominated cadet and junior world competition. Has been competing at the senior level for a couple of years. Pretty similar story in age and experience when you look at the Russian Kutuzov as well. Both in that same age bracket, both had success. Katutsov not quite as much success at the cadet and junior level as Amoyan, but still he won his share and medaled in his share of junior championships. And, and it's been great to be here in Oslo, so close to the Olympic Games. We've, we've come across some really young athletes who are the next big thing, who have been in the shadow of their counterparts for a long time. So the fact that a lot of these athletes are getting their first senior level world competition and experience it's it's fun to watch these great nations having next man up once again a familiar sight amoyan hanging hard 
on the arm, getting both his hands on, the two-on-one, trying to set it up. Doing a good job. Matt control right back on to the attack. You see Katusov struggling to free his arm up. Amoyan is a master of the arm drag and, and, the, and the slide buys, but he hasn't taken a lot of risk. And so because of that, they're going to give Katusov a, a, his chance on top here. One point on the board for Katusov for uh, passivity. Two eighteen to go, and now for the first time, Katusov is on top, sliding his arms up. He has long arms. You just tell he's shrugging them up. Arms are so long, it's it's uh, wrist to an elbow on the opposite side arm for him underneath. Good job underneath by Amoyan, continuing to move and squirm, and he will get back to the safety of his feet. Yeah, the. the crowd really didn't like that. They really wanted them to come up earlier as Katusov didn't have a lot of action up there. and Heard the whistles of the crowd. Not, a, not the happy whistle, but the angry whistle. That's a tough call to make for an official, I'm sure. I, I don't know if I agreed with him putting uh, Amoyan down there because Amoyan seemed like he was aggressive with the arm drags and the and the arm ties, although there's no reciprocity clause in the rule book, some officials like to call both and give both athletes a chance. Some say, hey, you scored first. You've got your, you've got your way. So again, it's that different perception and the perceptive nature of the officials. Inside a minute to go. Not much has changed here in this period. Katusov, the opportunity from Parterre, could not make anything of it. Amoyan behind his first period points, still leading. You saw the Russian coach showing us his palms, kind of confused, what are we doing here? And you don't know if he's talking to the officials or He's looking at his athlete and saying, you have the opportunity of a lifetime. Let's see it go for it here in the last 30 seconds. And 20 seconds to go. Let's see if the pace picks up. Looking maybe for the fireman's carry there. Nothing to be found. Three to one. Amoyan, 10 seconds to go. And Armenia will join Japan later tonight, winning the first two gold medals. Malkus Amoyan. A silver medal so close at the Continental Championship. He takes it one step further here in Oslo. Hugged by his coach. Armenia wins a nail biter, 72 kilos. Our officials trying to get him back when he's so filled with joy for winning a world title. But he wants to thank all of those great people who have helped him get there.